I'm failing this course, but I have an exam coming up and I need that to go well. So I made an app, but why? Feedback loops. This is generally how I learn. I study a concept, do an exercise, make mistakes, get corrected, repeat. But what if there's no step to get corrected? Well then, everything falls apart. And that's exactly what this course I'm taking feels like. We're given exercises, but no solutions, no feedback. But that's not all, because the questions in the exercises are very different from the stuff asked in tests. So they're not even that helpful for exam prep. I often end up using ChatGPT to generate relevant questions. And I've learned a lot through this method but a prompt getting it to explain the work quickly becomes a prompt asking it to do everything while I pretend to understand. I need a tool that generates good exercises and makes me work to earn the solutions. So that's what I'm making, but will it even help? The idea is simple, an app that helps me learn. It generates exercises based on a given concept I input my answers, I get corrected. At this point, some of you might be saying that I don't need to make an app for that though. All I have to do is be more disciplined in my use of LLMs with studying and not cheat. And to that I say, shh, shush, okay, right. You're right, okay, that's fair. But hear me out. The experience of using ChatGPT as a study tool could be a lot better. Let me explain. Firstly, LLMs lose the plot way too often. You have to keep re-explaining yourself trying to craft that perfect prompt. I swear like 40% of my prompts are just me saying variations of the same thing, begging the LLM to please listen to me. I don't like this. It takes too much time away from actually learning and I'd rather just have it have a consistent context of my notes and what I'm trying to learn. Secondly, it's difficult to refer back to helpful moments in the chat. I often find myself endlessly scrolling trying to find a specific message. And yeah, there's a search feature, but all I want is a clean, simple, worksheet-like environment where I can easily refer back to previous questions and answers. Thirdly, and this is to the point of being more disciplined in my use of LLMs. If I'm working on something that I don't find particularly interesting and I'm struggling to get the answer to a specific question, I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to give it to me. Like, why would I struggle on something that I don't enjoy? That makes no sense. That's like, that's like giving an alcoholic money and expecting them to go and buy milk or something. Like, what? No, dude, I'm gonna buy booze, right? So the only way that the behavior can change as if the environment in which the behavior is practiced changes. So hopefully through making this app, I am now introducing a better environment that is more conducive to me learning effectively without cheating. Now I did something different. I usually use Figma for my designs, but this time around I went with pen and paper. Don't get me wrong, Figma's great, but for projects like this, I prefer to keep things simple. I mean, it's basically one screen, so it's not too complex and drawing sketches makes me feel cool. And saying that probably reduced my perceived coolness. Anyway. All right, so this is it. Just one main screen really. And <laughs> I'm not realizing that these pieces of paper are not as big as I thought they'd be. I'll move you closer so you have a better look at things. And I'll just check that from the back to see how that looks. Right, yeah, that looks a lot better. So this is what you met with when you first opened the application. You then are prompted to create an exercise and I'm just not realizing how boring this section is. So how exactly detailed do you want this explanation to be? I mean, I'm basically describing abstract interactions with pieces of paper. Maybe I'll slap some Subway Surfers gameplay in the top corner to make it a bit more engaging for you. But uh, yeah, no, hopefully this gives you a good enough idea of my thoughts and you'll get to see how this all fits together in the demo later on in the video. With that being said, now it's time to code. But before that, how does the app actually work? When you create an exercise, you must specify a few things like the topic and the number of questions. 
You can also attach files such as your course notes, which help the model generate better questions. This is all then converted to a prompt that's passed over to our LLM, which generates the exercise. If you're interested in seeing how this was all implemented, a link to the final code will be in the description, right below the subscribe button. Okay, now it's actually time to code. Drink some water. So, I got some work done, mostly UI stuff. I did this all using Next.js and ShadCN just because I move a lot faster with them. It. It's a little interactive, but I haven't worked on anything backend related yet. And as I was thinking about how to implement that, I had to obviously think about how I'm going to store all this information, right? Or what database am I going to use? Then I realized I actually don't need a database. So I'll just be using local storage to store the information. As you can see, I already have some stuff being stored in there. That's for the theme. So if I was to come here and change that, it gets toggled to dock. So I think local storage is a good way to go. And it makes it easier for some of you guys who might want to extend this. With that being said, I uh, am going to take a bit of a break now because I don't know, I'm a bit tired. I haven't done much, but I was sick last week and I think my mental stamina is still recovering. So. I'm going to take a break, you know, take a walk or something, touch some grass, and I'll be back to finish this off. Wow, that was great. I love nature. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually know what this segment was supposed to be. Uh, I'll just, I'm just going to finish off the app now. Are you tired of being frustrated when studying? Have you had enough of getting bad results? Do you wish that she'd call you back? Well, this app can solve two out of three of those problems, which is still a higher percentage than what you get on tests. With this tool, you get personalized assistance on specific areas of struggle. Are you finding the question to be a bit too difficult? Well, get a hint that sets you on the right direction. If all else fails and you've given the question a good effort, try harder because you can't get solutions until you attempt all the questions. You can also easily refer back to past exercises and create new ones as you see fit. Easy 100. With this, you're guaranteed to pass. I just realized that I didn't actually show you a walkthrough from start to finish of how this all works. So here's a quick example. We come over here to create an exercise and let's say we want to learn about design patterns because that's something I'll be writing an exam on too. And I'm definitely a beginner. We'll just do three questions to keep it simple. And let's say our goal is to cover key topics and I'll leave the sources empty because this request is pretty general. Sources are found are more useful if you want the output to be tailored or more specific to something in your course notes or maybe something the lecturer said we create. And that comes over here, which gets sent over to the LLM to get processed. Zoom out a bit, we'll see that after some time. It gets sent over, right? And this is the exercise that we wanted to go over. So which similar to which parent ensures a class only has one instance? And let's say you didn't know this, right? So you'll just come over, hover over the hint. That's a pretty useless hint. <laughs> but okay, luckily I know the answer to this. So singleton. And I'll just write some gibberish for these ones. I'm not gonna think through them. And now we finish. There we go. I have the answer and explanation. I found this to be very helpful when I'm, you know, practicing. And if we come over here, we'll see other exercises that I've made in the past. So yeah, I've been using this for quite a bit the past couple of days. And I can say that studying has been a bit more enjoyable because of this. As, as I said earlier in the intro, I, I like these type feedback loops where, you know, you learn, 
try, get wrong, get corrected, learn again. This makes that very fun and enjoyable for me. Like, I don't know, I, I find myself smiling sometimes <laughs> as I was sitting here studying, which is a, a strange thing. I think it came out pretty well. It's actually useful. Like I use this a lot. I've been using it the past couple of days. Maybe you might find it helpful too. So if you're interested in maybe adapting it to your use case or just checking it out, code is in the description. The day has finally arrived. I must go right to the exam. I've spent a good amount of time prepping for this and I feel calm, but that doesn't say much for how this could turn out. Wish me some retroactive luck. I mean, I can definitely say that I was prepared for the paper, but I won't lie to you, man. Some of the questions in there were a bit outrageous. Overall though, I, I think it went okay. At least I hope it did. But that aside, it could be argued that the time I spent working on this project could have just been spent studying. And yeah, fair point, but hear me out. Before this, and by that I mean the app, studying just felt like a chore. I just didn't enjoy the work, or at least that's what I thought. But turns out that I actually find the stuff interesting. My issue wasn't with the course, but rather how it was taught, you know, how the information was presented to me. And that got me thinking about other situations where I felt the same way. I mean, I've been here for what, uh, by here I mean university for like three years, right? And there's been quite a few instances where I thought I didn't enjoy the work, but turns out the issue was with the lecturer or the course notes or something specific to the way the knowledge was being conveyed, right? And that's a very dangerous place to be because you're now placing your perception of knowledge in the hands of one person. And teaching is a skill. Not everyone is good at it, regardless of what their job title may be. So I guess what I'm getting at is that we should take ownership of our education. It's no one else's responsibility to teach us anything. If you made it this far, thank you for your time, subscribe, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs>